According to a new report from the World Wildlife Fund, the global wildlife population has fallen by half in just four decades. How does it make that calculation? WWF uses what it calls a living planet index. It's calculated using trends in over 10,000 populations of about 3,000 vertebrate species, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Scientific observations that date back to 1970 form the baseline of comparison. That's where they get the 50% drop in wildlife population. This line is WWF's calculations two years ago. Back then, its figures suggested the decline in wildlife since 1970 was 28%. So why does WWF now think there are fewer animals around? The organization says it's improved its methodology, now using 15% more data. It's also a function, they say, of their reducing the dominance of data from Europe and North America. The key reasons identified are exploitation, primarily from hunting and fishing, degradation of habitat, it offers oil drilling as an example, and loss of habitats to human land use. Where is the decline the worst? Latin America where overall populations of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish fell 83%. You can see in this map what it projects to be the future of the world's forests around 35 years from now. Under a do-nothing scenario, forests in Africa and South America would shrink substantially. What species are being lost? From large mammals like Africa's rhino population, which the report says have become regionally extinct due to poachers, to large migratory birds, under threat from fishing nets, to many shark species, which have suffered as a result of overfishing, species loss spans the globe's ecosystems. And as the report states, these trends show no sign of slowing down. That's the short answer.